I prefer using a syringe over the pen because I want to be in control of my injections and I think that it's really powerful if you have control over your medication and you have power over your pain. So for somebody who suffers from anxiety and someone who has gone through so many things, I'm I'm just so proud of myself that I'm able to do syringes because I always grew up really afraid of needles and this is very, very simple. <laughs> things for you to know about each of these is they both have pros and cons but I will say that I have a lot of experience using this kind of method and I prefer a syringe over an auto injector pen and I'll explain why. I did use an auto injector pen for about three years and it's always recommended for you to start with the pen because it is the easiest way for you to get the serum into you if you're a beginner. So basically the way an auto injector pen works is that you take both the caps off. This cap has a high powered spring that is in a button and inside is the vial. And then there's a very small, very sharp needle at the other end. So basically a high powered spring is activated once you hit the button and it shoots it into you. It works the same way that you would um, use a pricker if you prick your fingers to check your blood levels if you're diabetic. It works the same way. Now the only thing that I would say about this that is a positive is that you can't see the needle. You really can't see any of the mechanics in here. So if you're a visual person, if you're visually scared by needles, this is probably the best bet for you because you don't see any needles. You don't see what happens to you. All you do is hit the button and it's supposed to inject itself at such a intense rate that it will break the skin. So you really don't have to worry about inserting anything. Here are some cons about it though. It does make a very loud clicking noise. It can be very alarming. It does hurt. Um, even if you leave it out for a while, it can hurt more than a syringe. It really won't hurt that much, but I just don't like using an auto injector pen anymore because I like to be in control. I like to be the one that's inserting the needle inside of me. I like to be able to insert the needle at my own rate. And I don't like the idea of stabbing myself in the stomach because it's kind of like, shooting yourself or stabbing yourself in the stomach with something and by hitting a button I don't know I just don't like it mentally a lot of people will say that if you have some anxiety issues hitting this button can actually be really scary for you granted I only have to do it like a couple times a month but honestly after three years I looked for other options because hitting the button just became this big deal and I didn't like the noise it makes I'm very auditorily sensitive I guess so those are um, basically all the things I have to say about the Humira pen is that if you are a visual person, this hides any mechanics and you won't be able to see it and you can always have somebody hit the button for you. That's what's great about it. It's so easy to use. However, I just don't like how intense it is and I don't like the idea of shooting myself in the stomach. <laughs> anyway, but I mean, you do what you gotta do to make yourself healthy, right? So anyway, I'm going to push this guy kind of forward. So I started looking into syringes. I had a lot of questions and basically I kind of just answered all the questions myself by doing this one time in a doctor's office with a nurse practitioner. So she was able to answer all my questions right then and there and right away I immediately knew that I wanted to do syringes. So syringes, first of all, the same vial is in here that's in the Humira pen, okay? Um, unless you've changed your milligrams. It's all the same. The needle is actually the same as well. So the needle that's in here is also identical. So the syringe, what I like about the syringe is that you have a lot of control over the speed that you're delivering the serum into you, okay? With this, it injects it into you in a 10 second period. It could be really intense and that's a lot of burning. With this, I can inject this as slow as I want, and the great thing is that if I inject it into me and I notice I can feel the pain starting, like I notice that it burns, I can slow it down and I can inject this as slow as I want to inside of me, and that's what I really like about it, is that if I feel the burn coming from the citric acid, I can just slow it down, and that is less painful for me. And also, there's no springs, there's no crazy noises, it's not like a gun where I feel like I have to push a button and I mentally have to psych myself to press a button. 
The only thing that I had to teach myself is how to hold it, and it's actually very comfortable to hold um, because it has these nice little finger holders in it. It's kind of like holding a pen. Like if you were to poke somebody with a pen, which you shouldn't do, <laughs> but um, that's kind of like what it's like, and it's very comfortable. The only thing that I had to teach myself how to do is just how to get it into my skin at the right angle. You just have to practice a 45 degree angle. And the great thing about this is the needle on it is so small and so skinny that you really don't have to poke it inside of you. If you wanted to, the needle on this is so small that you could probably just like press it into you the way that you would do a blood lab. I actually do it that way sometimes. Sometimes I give it a poke and it goes in and then sometimes I just kind of press it into the skin and it just kind of goes in the way that a blood lab uh, fly needle, I think they're called fly needles or maybe they're called butterfly needles, I don't know. It's just such a small needle that it's just so easy to place inside of you and I can do it as slow as I want and it doesn't leave any bruises because it's not hyperized by a spring. So I just prefer syringes. If you're starting off with a pen, maybe after a little while, if you wanna try syringes, it's so easy. All I did is I just called up my doctor and I said, hey, I have some questions. Can I have a nurse practitioner do one of these with me? And that's what I did, and I did one with a nurse practitioner, and then I went home, and two weeks later, I was able to do it all by myself. So, I don't know. I prefer using a syringe over the pen because I want to be in control of my injections, and I think that it's really powerful if you have control over your medication and you have power over your pain. So, for somebody who suffers from anxiety and someone who has gone through so many things, I'm I'm just so proud of myself that I'm able to do syringes because I always grew up really afraid of needles and this is very very simple and it's very easy to use and also I want you guys to kind of look at how small this is. Let me just show you in comparison to something else how small this is. So this is a pen. Look at how small that syringe is. It's really nothing. So if you're the kind of person that's afraid of if you're afraid of needles or you're afraid of shots, this is just so tiny that for me, it's not scary. And after talking to a nurse practitioner a couple times about it, and I did one with her, it just, it was so easy for me. It went into the skin so easy, and I just wasn't nervous about it anymore. So to just take that anxiety out of my life... I'm so glad that I made the switch, and I will show you a tutorial on how I do it very soon. But for anybody that's just starting Humira and they want to know what it's like, I would prefer to use syringes just because it was really no different than learning how to use the pen, and it's so much less stressful. So, like I said, if you're starting off out there, you can try both and see which one you like, but I prefer the syringe because it's just less painful. It's not as scary, and it's just not this big ordeal. So that's all I have to say. Um, look out for my tutorial coming soon so that you can actually see how it works. If you want to know what it's like to use an auto-injector pen, I have a tutorial on how to use an auto-injector pen. I do it in my stomach, and it just shows you what it looks like, how fast it goes into you, and it, also, um, it can also give you an idea on what it sounds like. You can kind of hear the click in my tutorial. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's on my channel.